Aloha everybody, Bob Smith from Smith Tech Window and Pro Sport Kickboxing. And here's a lesson for you. It's about losing someone. When you lose a family member, it takes a long time to get over it, to overcome it, the grieving process, the pain. But eventually you learn to understand that death, death is a part of living. And since death is a part of living, we learn that we must go on, do what we need to, to make our own lives productive, help our families, nourish our families, nurture them to make sure that they grow up and become positive models of society. What you don't understand is the pain that others might go through. Now, losing someone is difficult and you can ask why, you can pray to God, you can ask God to give you another chance, you can ask Him to bring that person back, which He won't, but you eventually learn to accept it. What you don't learn to accept is if your mother or your father, husband, wife, son or daughter, let's say your son, comes home one day, finds the house locked up. All the locks have been changed. He sees the car in the driveway or in the garage. So he's knocking on the door. He's calling the phone, calling the cell phone, sending text messages, but getting no response. A few days later, he notices that you've moved and you've moved out but he notices your house a couple of blocks down the street, notices your car parked in the driveway, figures out that you moved somewhere else, comes up, knocks on the door, does everything that he can do to try to reach out to you. And you ignore that person. You just totally shut them off. Want nothing else to do with them. There's no explanation. You don't give them a justification. You just cut them off. And this happens with a lot of martial arts instructors. They will have invested years into students, champions, black belts, literally loving them like brothers and sisters and opening their homes to them, their food, their money, 